Well, of course, all of you thought, is she or is she not? But there she is. And all your wonderful notes and messages. Thank you very much. And at the same time, I want to again go back to being in the know. Many of you, thousands and thousands of you who have listened to my radio show, and you listened to the radio show, and I gave you my prophecies. I gave you the wonderful people I interviewed. And, of course, I talked to you about the very difficult and hard that were at hand. Sometimes, to us, it was already visible in 2004, and many of you, when you asked, I told you it's time to prepare and to be in the know. And then there are so many of you who constantly want to live with the flow. Live in the now. Well, in the now is a dangerous thing, and living in the flow is even more dangerous. The times that are now at hand will be throwing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people from state to state to state, from country, from province, and onward, out in dire circumstances. When I told you to live in the know, and so many who are on the supposedly new age trend, said, oh, no, no, we only need to live with the flow. We only have to live in the now. Well, you know, when uh, one of you wrote me a note and said, I wish, I wish, I thought I should be living with the flow. And so I loaded my truck up and had my trailer behind. And of course, I never took it in to have it checked. Well, I found myself in the snow on a mountainous road, no garages near, stranded with my family and my two friends. And I could pull the hair out of my head when the wife of my friend said, you should have learned to live in the know. Why didn't you have it checked before you left? Well, that's hitting people over the head like with a two by four. Spiritual beings and beings that are really empowered and in the know live and come from a point of truth. Truth, kindness and compassion, and that word compassion today is going to be the most powerful word ever. Not economy, but compassion, wisdom, caring, kindness. Also, many of you have written me about uh, your president in the United States, Mr. Obama, as well as many, many here in Canada have written me hear about the government that we have here. When our times were good and empowered and powerful, I often thought, why can't they raise the money given to those that are living on the verge or over the edge of dire poverty, the senior citizens, the elders who bought, who brought forth their uh, economy that so many uh, people enjoyed for the last 20, 25 years. And now it is all slip sliding. And guess who suffers and who has the hardest time? The seniors. The seniors who have to keep up with the ever, ever rising cost of living. And who else is suffering? Mothers who have been abandoned with their children, who are having to struggle day in, day out. And then these little parents who are struggling for dear life each and every day because the income, the hourly wages that they are paid are virtually not enough. So when someone says the economy needs to get going, wouldn't it be better if people had some money 
so they could buy the necessities and the things that they need. I do not mean that people all need to drive expensive SUVs and all the like, but that people need to have a decent car that they can go to work with and from. Now I'm asking you, when you are listening tonight, how much does it take for you to reach out? To open your hearts of hearts. You know, when they say about California being in such a bind financially. Well, we can say with a smile that's what you get when you uh, invite a movie star. But you can also say that's what you get when you are not living in the know. And that's for Mr. Schwarzenegger the same. Being in the know. Being in realization. You know, it is the same thing as with the changes around the planet. When someone comes and ha hammers me about the 2012, then I say maybe the 2012 is a total different disaster than you are expecting. Also, I have told some of you, it is much more necessary to live in the know and in empowerment from now until the year 2016. But then I will come with that prophecy when I have a chance and I will open your hearts and I will open your being. I will, of course, empower you. You know, when some years ago a fellow stole the tape I made on Future Forecast, Today he might be jumping up and down like on a hot stove when he says these prophecies could never come true. Economies would never collapse like this. Yes, economies slip slide and they collapse. Some of these economies are created by powers that be for you unseen but some known. Being in the know is now more important than ever in your existence. Living with the flow, not advisable. Living, really living out of the warmth of your soul, of your heart. Reaching out to those you love and those that are out there suffering. That is the prize, the greatest prize that awaits you is called love, kindness and compassion. When you know someone who is having a hard time and is struggling, I urge you to help and assist them. For you who are drug users or alcohol abusers, this is the time for you to sober up because I'm calling you to be empowered and to empower yourself and those around you. For there is no saving of existence by alcohol or drugs. It will make you escapist. And escapist never did well in any disaster and in any difficult times. I call all of you, the sweet ones and the so very stupid and dumb ones, that it is time to live spiritually out of the depths of your heart, living in the know. And with this, I say goodbye until we meet again.